Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and today I'm bringing you guys another Team of the Season review. This time it's on an absolute beast, BPL Team of the Season, Romelu Lukaku. Of course, I was always going to do a review on this absolute legend. I was so excited when I saw that he actually got one because there was always a chance that he was going to get one. But obviously there has been some better strikers like Vardy, Kane and Aguero of course. So I was quite happy to see him actually get one. And look at his stats there, 90 pace which is unbelievable, 85 dribbling, 93 shot and 92 physical. Unbelievable stats on the boy. And this is the team we're going to be playing around in. Dale Lefeu right mid, the Pe the Pi left wing. We've got Henderson, the Bruyne. We've got Dembele, who, as you've seen, is actually monster on this game. Uh, we've got Baines in there, Company, Otamendi, and Coleman right back with Courtois in goal. So pretty solid team. And we're going to hop into the tournament game quickly, and let's see some of the clips that he got. So. Um, just before we go into that, we'll have a look at his team. He had a half decent team, nothing amazing. It was pretty decent. Um, but yeah, I just loved using this guy. He was unbelievable. And his weak shot, as you see there, on the right foot, nice little finish there. His weak foot was actually pretty decent, not going to lie. The, um, the downside to him, though, was definitely his uh, agility. I felt like his dribbling was very, very good. He could get round people, but his first touch, like... Getting the ball and then turning straight away wasn't great. He felt really slow turning around. A bit like Mertesacker, if you know what I mean. But his, um, when he's running at you and he's just going left and right, his dribbling's very good as she there. Just gets around them. But from the start and just turning around, he's not very good. But um, overall, he was very good. And his pace was unbelievable. 90 pace on him uh, combined with his strength, which I'm not exactly sure, but I'm guessing it's high 90s. It was unbelievable to use. And it's obviously his finishing was brilliant. Apart from that shot, that was awful. Don't know what happened there. But his shot power was great, finishing was awesome as well, and his passing was very surprisingly good, not going to lie, but like I said, the downside is definitely turning around and moving. I felt like uh, his acceleration was pretty poor, but his sprint speed, unbelievable, shooting great. Of course, he's big and strong, so he's always going to win those headers. And yeah, that's pretty much all I want to say, guys. Absolute beast if you want to use him. Not cheap, though, if you do want to pay for him. He is 400k, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did, subscribe if you're new, and peace.